Welcome to Postscript from Faithbridge Church. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the message by sitting down with the teacher of the day. Hello, I am Adam McIntyre. I'm the high school pastor here at Faithbridge, and I am here with Dan Slagle, who just preached an awesome message on leaving your baggage at the foot of the cross, about giving that over to Jesus and unburdening yourself and letting him carry that for you. And Dan, thank you so much for being here with sure. us today. Uh, we actually have a couple questions come in, and so I'm going to start with the first one. Sure. Uh, the first question was, what do you do with baggage that you have set aside that reattaches reattaches itself. I have forgiven someone who has wronged me in the past, and yet they continue to wrong us. We do not have a way to disentangle from that relationship because they are a parent. So how do we deal with that? Well, it is true that some baggage is more difficult to shed than others. Uh, I'm, I'm not so naive as to think that there are certain issues in life we can just lay down and that's the end of that. I think the way you deal with reattaching baggage is the way you deal with it the very first time. You keep taking it back to the cross mm -hmm. because really there's no other meaningful answer. Right. Uh, beyond that, it's looking to your own resources. It's becoming apathetic. Mm -hmm. It is allowing yourself to be overcome with anger, guilt, shame, whatever the case may be. N none of those options are particularly appealing. Right. So, uh, I think we continue to take it to Jesus and trust that in His time and in His plan, He will either give us the grace to continue to deal with it or He'll, he'll put it to bed. Absolutely. So it's almost like thinking about it not as the baggage reattaching itself, but as that being brand new baggage, again, that you have to bring yeah, to the front of the cross. Yeah, that's a good over way over to look at it, yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, another question was, who are the cloud of witnesses that Paul was talking about that are watching us throw off uh, our baggage and run the race? Sure. I'm glad someone asked that question. I felt bad that there was not time in the message to, to take that up. The cloud of witnesses refers to a list of people in the previous chapter, chapter 11 who are lifted up to us as role models of faith, mm. of people who, some of whom had some really difficult life circumstances, mm. and yet they stayed on course. Right. They refused to veer, to uh, deny the faith, even to the point of, of death, some of them. And after the writer lifts those individuals up as models of faith, he then turns and says, therefore, uh, with such a great cloud of witnesses, those who've gone on before us, let's turn and do the same. Very cool. And at the end of your sermon, you talked about how it is necessary for us to not run our own race, mm -hmm. but to run the race that, that God has set out before us. Right. And then you talked about how the key to that is to fix your eyes on Jesus. And so maybe for those who are brand new to mm -hmm. Christianity or who, who might not even be Christians yet, what are some practical steps that they can take to begin to fix their eyes on Jesus? Sure. Uh, one of my heroes of the faith, John Wesley, talked a lot about means of grace. Uh, a good way to think of those uh, channels of grace that God provides for us that give us access to Him, and to His presence, His power, His love, those sorts of things. And n none of them are... Uh, particularly uh, out of the box, unique, weird. It, it's really pretty much standard stuff. Uh, becoming a person of the word. Uh, the, the Bible is a definite pointer uh, towards Christ. Becoming a person of prayer and learning to cultivate our relationship with Christ through prayer. Spending time with other believers who, who know Jesus, uh, getting their input and their guidance and their help, their accountability, being in a, in a grow group, participating in the body of Christ through worship and service. All of those things, I think, have a cumulative effect of reorienting the direction of our life. And as we participate in those, we begin to find that we're, we're looking in a different direction. Very good. Well, thank you so much to Dan for joining us sure. for this ProScript session, and thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining us for ProScript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org forward slash ProScript.